welcome back everyone to my channel today's session we are going to configure the destination at part one and you are going to enjoy this video if you do do not forget to like comment and share and i also recommend you to subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon to get new notification so let's get start first i'm going to show you that how the traffic is coming from when to LAN or when to DMZ so as you can see this is my WAN LAN and DMZ in this destination at session so our traffic is coming from when to LAN and as well as when to DMZ what I'm going to do in this video as you can see I have two global pool so I'm going to configure the destination net by using public global pool so let me little bit move this here as you can see there is my public server which is located in the WAN I will try to get the RDP access from this server so basically the traffic is coming from outside from this machine let me show you from this machine to get access to this PC RDP RDP 3389 so what I'm going to do I'm going to have one public IP address so I'm going to take this public IP address from this public global pool so I'm going to use this public global pool this public global pool so I'm going to have this IP address for example I'm going to take 192.168.99.4 or I can take 99.5 because this is the pool I'm going to use for this LAN zone so what about the traffic is you know going out from this LAN to WAN the firewall 40 gate firewall is going to use this public global pool for this LAN zone basically I'm gonna have a map between this public IP 192.168.99.4 so this is going to be the public IP and as you can see this is my private IP for this particular machine which is going to be 192.168.10.2 this is going to be my private IP address private IP so this is the mapping table you know this will be the mapping table net mapping for destination net so let us configure the destination net by using this global pool this is my 40 gate 40 net firewall admin password is admin123 so first I have to create virtual IP so first I'm going to create virtual IP as you can see DNAT and virtual IP so here WAN to LAN WAN to LAN RDP and interface I'm going to leave it default which is any and type is going to be static NAT and as you can see external IP address slash range so my external IP address which is my public IP address I'm gonna take 192.168.99.4 and my mapped IP address is going to be my LAN IP address which is 192.168.10.2 and optional field is services so I have to turn on the services 
I want to have this service only which is going to be RDP. RDP I'm going to take and then close. As you can see my external IP address 192.168.99.4 Let me show you. This is my public IP address. Public IP and this is my private IP. Private IP. So I'm going to click on OK. So I have created DNAT and virtual IP. But I have to show you the net first, source net I have created. So what, as you can see LAN. So from LAN to WAN. And then translated address, which is LAN global. As you can see, I'm going to show you that LAN. So traffic is going from LAN to WAN. And then as you can see this destination address, source and destination address, I'm going to have all and translated address is going to be LAN global. So let me check this LAN global. As you can see external IP range is going to be 192.168.99.4 and then 192.168.99.8. So I'm going to have five public IP addresses from this pool. So I have taken this IP address 192.168.99.4 in my virtual IP address and DNAT. So let me try from this public server. Oops, 192.168.99.4. So initiating a remote connection. So what I have to do, I have to go to the security policy. And then I have to create a new security policy. When to LAN RDP. So my incoming interface is going to be WAN port 1 and outgoing interface is LAN port 2. Let me show you. Incoming is going to be this one, this port. Port 1 which is WAN. And then outgoing is going to be so this is in and then port 2 which is LAN this is going to be out and then source address I'm going to have all click on close destination also I'm going to have all application URL category service app default so I'm going to leave everything default action is going to be accept which is allow and then protocol options security profiles antivirus and IPS so everything I'm, do, I'm going to leave default accept logging options so this logging options I want to have all sessions so click on OK and then enable this policy click on OK so I have created this when to LAN RDP let me try now As you can see, my policy is working. So username is OV and then password is 123. So this is my, let me click on this PC, 123. So this is my local machine, which is residing in LAN zone. So this will be logged off. after connecting from this machine click on yes as you can see I'm successfully connected to this machine I'm connected with this machine and then this will be logged off as you can see this machine has been logged off my policy is working and one more thing I'm going to show you before finishing this session and then in my next session, I'll move to again destination net part two. There I will be adding, you know, 
routers and then router will be acting as a PC. I will try to get telnet access or SSH access. As you can see, this security policy, if this doesn't work after even after applying the security policy when to LAN RDP, you have to restart this 14 at 40 get next generation firewall or else you can do you just move this policy to the top so as this policy works in this lab I'm gonna leave it default which is ID number 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 in my case my policy is working so I do not need to move this to the top let me try once again as you can see it works if not then you just try to restart this 1440 gate firewall so after restarting your policy will definitely work if not even if your policy doesn't work after restarting also you have to double check your policy so check the virtual IP you have created and then also check the security policy and uh, as you can see hit count hit count is 2 so I have tried 2 times from this public server that's why hit count is 2 over here I hope this video has been informative for you if you like this video subscribe this channel share this video to all your friends and colleagues thank you for watching